How do you get your sales team energized? Several years ago, I was sitting in a restaurant that has a 1950s theme in the United States, and all of a sudden this music starts up and all these people start dancing. The people that work there start dancing. And they're, they're jumping around and it didn't seem like anybody was really participating in it, but when I talked to the manager, he said, well, it's scripted. We have to do this every 30 minutes. I thought, well, how do you like doing that? He says, well, we don't like doing it at all. And when I looked at it, I realized it was compulsory. They had to do it. It was scripted. Well, you can't do that with natural energy. You can't have a meeting and say, well, now everybody's going to have natural energy. We're all going to be lighthearted and engaged. It requires something of people. We can't do it without effort. And the effort is in human relationships, which oftentimes are messy and complicated. And that's why business so often has trouble with the ambiguity of human relationships. But it's not that hard. What we have to do is develop and cultivate teams that are focused on relationship building. And so in your next meeting, think about not what we're going to add to the sales process, another thing that we're going to do, but have your meetings focused, at least a portion of, okay, now that we've talked about this, what are we going to get rid of? Why do we want to do that? So we can leave more space for human beings to connect to one another. If you can do that, the natural energy will rise in your workforce and your clients will know and appreciate that your organization has vital, real, imaginative, natural energy. And that is a vital competitive edge.